Right then, Rosie, so your marks so far have gone 26, then 45, then 52. So let's see if that improvement is going to continue another week. Right, it's not 46 million. 46 million would have another zero on it. That's 4,600,000. Uh, you've got one missing there, which is five. Uh, it's not eight, it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> right, your mistake is in the very first one there. 295 and 295 is not three pound 90. But you don't need to do anything as monstrous as what you've done there. What they're looking for you to do there is to round that off to three quid and see how many times three quid goes into 20, which is six. Okay, so they're not expecting you to work that hard for two marks. Three quarters is not 0.34. Okay, you should know that one quarter is 0.25 or 25 percent so two quarters would be 0.5 or 50 percent and three quarters would be 75 percent or 0.75 for your incorrect answer that is a correct order 5 10 7 8 is right you've left the mode out you need to know that the mode is the most frequent the most frequent is 10 which means the mode is two children. Total for the page, two, four, six, eight, ten. Right, I'm gonna penalize you twice. You've used a ruler. Sorry, not a ruler, a pencil. Pen, you used a pen, I want you to use a pencil. So I'm gonna take a mark off you. You need to have gaps between your bars. So I'm going to take another mark off you. Right, so here, uh, perpendicular means at right angles, two. So the line that's at right angles to DC is AE. <coughs> and then parallel to AD, if you take your line a, D, line it up with the ruler and slide your ruler at that direction until you come across BC, which is sloping the same way. <coughs> and for your angles, A, D, E is this one. Okay, take a guess, it's less than 90, bigger than 45. So I'm looking for something maybe 60, 70 ish. Take your protractor. The center of the tractor goes on D, and the zero lines up along one of the lines of the angle. And then you read off the other line. So it's either 70 or 290. You've taken a guess at 70, so <coughs> you know it's going to be 70. B, C, E is that angle. Again, take a guess. It's bigger than 90, it's bigger than a right angle. It's less than a straight line. So I'm looking for something between 90 and 180. Take the center, put it at C. You need the zero to be lined up with one of the lines. Let's take it over there. And then we need to read up. So it's either 110 or 250. I've taken my guess that it's between 90 and 180. So it's going to be 110. Total for the page two. That's correct. Two diagonals are correct, but you've also got two wrong ones on there. If you think, if you put a mirror there, that reflection would appear over there. And on this mirror, that reflection would appear up there, and they're not there. The two diagonals are right, but because you've got two wrong ones on there as well, you end up with no marks. That's good though. 48 squares is okay, but the units of area are centimeters squared so you lose your unit mark total for the page five <coughs> uh, 
that's good that's good that's good that's good well done six eight nine eight fantastic cracked your algebra that's right but you need to have a method of doing it so uh, that's something that we're going to work on this week yes it's 48 divided by 8 equals 6 so 1 eighth would be 6 you've got 3 eighths would be 18 can't give you a method because you didn't complete it that's not right what you need to do is to take the two unit digits 7 and 8 if you do 7 times 8 you get 56 if 7 8 ends in a 6 the whole answer is going to be ending in a 6 so it's that one have a look how I do that on the video clip um, this isn't 2 cubed is not 2 times 3 2 cubed is 2 times 2 times 2 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 so it should be 8 times 25 which is 200 you're going to get 1 there because you got one of the things right and you did work out the final answer uh, with this you need to add that 0 there and then you need to do the borrowing and stuff from there so that's not right so you need to practice your non calculated subtraction and non calculated multiplication total for that page is only one that's not right that's right that's not right those will be practicing this week 9r is correct um, we've lost a t okay we've got negative 4t and we're adding 7 right you've gone down you've done negative 4 take away another 7 and you've lost the t okay that should be plus 3t good 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 total for that page 8 uh, no that's not 43 it's inside this triangle it's a special triangle because it's got the two little lines there which tell you that it's an isosceles triangle which means these two angles are the same so the first thing you do is 180 take away 56 which is 124 these two angles have to add up to 124 and they're both the same so if you divide that by 2 you get 62 that means that's 62 and that is 62 this, these three angles lie on a straight line so they've got to add up to 180 so you've got to do 180 take away the 43 that's there take away the 62 from inside the triangle and that gives you y which is 75 degrees that's right that's right that's right uh, you've used a ruler good it doesn't have to go through zero but uh, your slope is okay mark on your graph how you were reading off okay your answer is right you got up to 165 and when you read that down you get 62 so that's good you get your five marks for that five for the page no because it shows us how much they weigh and how tall they are not time I'll give you the mark for that 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 that, that is good four marks have a look how I explain that on the video clip five marks with this one where are we good uh, that's wrong it should be there and this one should have a tick there so your square properties are correct but your other two aren't that's good have a look how I explain that we practiced that recently uh, c times that is going to be c to the power of 4 minus 5c that is good this is not good because negative 12 plus 15 is 3 that is correct that should be take and that should be 18 take okay so you got in a bit of a mess there 
okay so from that first line your next line should be I need to get the ease on their own on one side so I have to move or get rid of that add 3e I get rid of an add 3e by taking 3e off both sides that means on this side now there's only 18 left I can simplify 7e take away 3e it's 4e now I want to get rid of the plus 12 I get rid of an adding 12 by taking 12 off both sides 18 take away 12 is 6 4 and the e are joined by a times so to get the e on its own I can do the opposite of timesing by 4 which is dividing by 4 so my answer is 6 over 4 total for the page is 4, 6 so as I was saying Rosie um, 26, 45, 52 is what you've scored so far so we're looking to beat 52 10, 12, 17, 27, 28, 36, 41, 46, 52 so you didn't beat it but you've got no worse okay and evil mr. Jones took a mark off you there because you used a pen so just picking up picking up a, a pencil would have got you the mark to beat that so that's not bad um, it's an E it's only two marks three marks off a, off a, a D okay and you're less than 20 marks off a grade C so there's still some little mistakes in there that you can easily put right and some topics to learn that aren't too difficult. So that's still encouraging, Rosie, well done.